Okay, okay, here we go again. So this is going to be, um, well, another video, right? And here we're going to cr uh, convert our inner and outer height maps, okay, that we already extracted out of QGS, and we're going to convert them to raw format. Raw format is what we need inside of Unity to create our terrains, okay? And we have a script for you to do that. So let me exit out of here and let me go to my file explorer and I'm going to go into my Oakmont project folder and then I'm going to go to my LiDAR project folder and then here I'm going to go into my Oakmont directory and I'm now I'm going to go into my height map folder. And then in here I have my inner and my outer height map. Now another thing we are also going to need right now is our spreadsheet. I did mine in meters, so I know that my data is entered into this one right here, this Oakmont Max Min. So I'm going to open that up as well, because we're going to need some data out of here. Specifically, we're going to need these Max and Mins out of here. Now, remember, if you did yours in uh, feet, you're going to need to open up yours in feet and take the ones that are duly noted in there that are now in meters, because we got to put these into the script file. So let me go back to my height map folder and go into my inner and I'm going to right click on this batch file right here this script and I'm going to edit in notepad now in here you might recall very early on in the process one of the things that we did was we altered this path right here to point to the install directory that we're working on so I have that for mine you should have this for you so so if you did not alter this section right here you missed some videos and you need to go back and fix that or else there's a good chance this is not going to work for you. But what we need to alter in here are these two settings right here, min and max. So since we're doing our inner, I'm going to open up my spreadsheet. Ooh, my dog just barked for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and I'm going to take the min out of here. You see it's 220.4. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into, whoops, that one that I opened up here, my inner TIFF to raw, and I'm going to replace the min with that value. I'm also going to do the same thing with this max value as well. So I'm going to copy this, come back in here, and replace the max with that. Okay, so now I have my min and max in there. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to make sure that I save it. Now I need to do the same thing. Let me go back to my folder. I'm going to go up a directory and I'm going to go into my outer and I'm going to right click on this batch file. I'm going to do edit notepad and this time, and remember we altered this one as well, but this time I'm going to replace the min and max here with the min and max from my outer in here. So my min here is 220.2. Paste that in there. And then I'm going to take my max as well, which is this number here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste this in. You can type them in by hand if you want. I just like to copy and paste because I tend to make mistakes. I'm going to close this and make sure I save it. Now I am going to go back here. Let's start with my inner. Let's go back into my inner and I'm going to double click on this bat file. Okay, this script. I'm going to double click and now. It's going to kick up it's thinking and the first thing it's going to say is warning well that's because these are script files batch files they can be malicious this one is not it's pretty simple i'm going to click on more info run anyway and we're going to get a pop-up you're going to see it process that and now i have my raw file that was just created right here if this doesn't run and you can see the screen that popped up if it doesn't run correctly there is another tutorial, another video that shows you how to troubleshoot this. Um, but bottom line is the most common thing is you have the wrong directory, okay, for your QGIS install. You need to fix that. That's the most common thing. Well, let's go back up. Now let's go to my outer. And we're going to do the same thing with this bat file in the outer. I'm going to double click. I'm going to have to say run anyway. And then this one's going to pop up and run. And now I have my raw in here as well. Uh, so now we have our raw files and we're off to the races.